the opportunity. I will speak about uh, stationary fuel cells again and uh, methane fuels uh, and not hydrogen fuel fuel cells. I'm um, short introduction about uh, myself. I'm in this industry now. I've been here for uh, about five years, five, yeah, almost six years now. I come from the automotive industry originally, and in, during these last five years, um, this industry of fuel cells, especially for the stationary applications, what really um, through a major transformation. If you were here five years ago, maybe many of you were here five years ago, you would have listened to uh, a presentation about uh, durability, performance, technologies. Now you're here, I'm very pleased that I'm not the only one, actually I'm one of the company. We're speaking about products, um, how fast this product will reduce the cost, how fast these products will go into mass production. It's a really a radical change of what the producer and manufacturer of fuel cell companies are presenting today. Now, as we have only 10 minutes, I will try to, give, to be quick and give you an overview of the company, SRC Power. We produce high, effic high effic efficiency sorry, generators, and which convert natural gas into electricity and heat for residential and commercial applications. Our focus market is the resident residential cogeneration, in the, which is the micro CHP, micro combined heat and power, in the kilowatt size. Uh, you have heard today that many other applications are possible, larger systems with hundreds of kilowatt up to the megawatt, and even large power plant of more than megawatt. We are focused on developing and producing low-cost products, having a low-cost strategy from the beginning, uh, dipping a lot into the um, automotive approach that we've been following always, to achieve the grid parity, because that's all what it counts. I, uh, I agree absolutely there is no need to, com to compare one fuel cell technology to the other. We all compare to what exists today, which is the grid. And we all want to agree to, uh, achieve the grid parity um, at a certain production <laughs> volume. Now it's, this is the number that, uh, that counts, and uh, I'm also very pleased to see that the number you have seen today all converge, that no gigawatts are production are needed, but let's say 50 megawatts uh, per year production capacity are sufficient for this technology to achieve grid parity, even without subsidy. <coughs> Just to put it in a context, uh, every utility having, uh, making a decision to build one power plant they speak about hundreds of megawatts. The smallest Siemens gas turbine is 250 megawatts, what they're selling today, for central power generation. So a decision of building a, in this case, a virtual power plant of uh, 50 megawatt is actually a small uh, power plant for a utility. And that's sufficient to make this uh, technology competitive. <coughs> we are based in Switzerland where we have acquired a technology and we produce in the north of Italy. So we are all in the Alps. There we have a, a two megawatt per year production facility, pilot production facility with manufacturing equipment. We are not in a lab, we are in a production unit. We've been testing micro CSP units uh, since 2009. The units for the European rollout are undergoing certification which is not yet completed. We plan to install those units in 2013. We have, a, as I said, a pilot production unit currently in production. We produce hundreds of uh, stacks, thousands of cells, and uh, several systems. The production processes to set up a production unit up to or even higher than, but we have chosen a size of 50 megawatt per year is ready. We know the process. Of course, we have to scale it up, and this will take us uh, into 2015. The target market, as I said, the first focus market is the European micro CHP, meaning more precisely Germany, uh, even the UK, Belgium, Holland, and many other countries. The strategy of commercialization is no surprise here. Utilities are a key partner to achieve volumes in a in a um, quicker than selling these um, systems one by one. So we do have partnership with utilities to roll out our products. I think you heard it enough uh, today. Uh, 
everybody basically said that all key factors that are needed are finally uh, aligned for the micro CLP application. Combined heat and power delivers, uh, those are units that can deliver and delivers efficient and competitive electricity and heat for a variety of applications. The regularity environment is very favorable, probably has never been so favorable to these applications. And uh, starting from Japan, they've always been the first in this, uh, in this um, uh, area. Afterward in Europe, the first in Europe have been Germany. It's also not a surprise. And now Korea is very, very aggressive in this field with their goals. And US, the USA are really getting more and more attention on this subject because of the evolution on the gas price. Gas price is going down in the US and electricity price is going up. Performance, as I said before, five years ago you would uh, hear a presentation about how the fuel cells will meet the performance. Now you have uh, seen in the last five years several national programs again, starting from Japan and in Europe and in several other countries, we have shown that these systems meet the customer requirements. Costs, I will, of course, say uh, much more about uh, the cost. Um, the technology we have chosen has no uh, precious metal, has ba is based on low-cost materials. They are advanced ceramic, but no, um, no exotic materials. Uh, no strategic materials, so they are low-cost materials and also, as important as materials, low-cost manufacturing processes. Today, as you, as you, as you actually be in, in Brussels, today there is the kickoff of the Enfield program. It is the European rollout program, uh, which involves several utilities, fuel cells and boiler manufacturers, and other uh, institutions. It's one of the largest European uh, programs today. And what it does is the rollout of this technology, the field testing of thousands of these systems to, uh, through the next two years. I prefer to come here today because they are already convinced, so they're starting the project, so I'm, that's why I'm talking to you. Um, these are some pictures of uh, our integrated products uh, that has been exposed in uh, exhibitions this year. On the left side you see uh, a wall hung unit uh, actually two. So our, our uh, uh, fuel cells, our hot boxes, can be integrated in wall hung system and also floor standing units. For the NFE program, for the European rollout, we have chosen to roll out a floor standing unit that we are manufacturing together with our partners. How do we get to volumes? Um, the path is always the same. You have seen it in different forms, different tastes uh, all over the day today. Especially utilities, they do initial trials. They test a couple of systems. They see how they work. They, give the, they uh, check the economics with the CFOs. They take the decision, OK, we like it, and it works, and we can make money out of it. After that, they, they've done this one, they go to the next uh, phase, which is extensive tests. Uh, never try to rush a utility, it's not possible. They make their tests of tens of units or even hundred. This phase, it's a, it takes one to two years. Some people want one winter, some people want two winters. This is the phase that we're doing today. And after that, you can say, if it passes those two, then we will roll out, we can buy 10,000 of them. That's the standard um, rollout. SOC power is in this process, in the second phase, which is rep represented by the European Enfield program. We have received utilities order. We are participating in rollout programs where at the end of the program, there is a deployment of more than 10,000, about 30,000 units. So what we have in front of us is the production, the ramp up of production. Uh, of course, marketing and promotion activities. Uh, that's the difference between making one power plant and uh, installing 10,000. There is more people to talk to. And these are some basic numbers, uh, and I will give you more in detail in, uh, in bilateral talks, um, if you would like. 2015, that means two years from now, is the year when we can talk volumes. It takes two years to ramp up a production. It takes also more than two years to build a power plant. So we are not 
slower or not faster than building a normal power plant. Now, what is the price of, this, of these boxes, as, as the utility calls them? Uh, it depends on how many you order, like uh, any uh, other products from the supermarket to phones to any other things. Um, today, if you order, let's say, one to hundreds of units, the prices are in the 10,000. And that's the prices of, uh, let's say, prototypes and field test units. If you order 10, uh, more than 1,000 units, uh, the price is, that's the price of the selling price of SOC power to anybody placing such an order, to be precise. We go below between 10,000 and 5,000. Above 10,000 units, we can commit to a price of below 4,000, of course, uh, and we can negotiate what that price can be. And as I said before, the delivery of those 10,000 units will take me two years to do it because I have to ramp up production to do that. What tells me or tells you that this is possible? And uh, there are two ways to, well, several ways to do it. One is to show experience curves, also from other industries. But I've chosen to do it in a different way. As I said, in my past, there is automotive industry. I've been even a, a buyer in the automotive industry, what one doesn't do for a living. But um, I was buying technology, so I know what a supplier quote is. And I have um, I've chosen to show you um, actual supplier quotes. Of course, don't ask me to show you the bill of material with all the supplier names and what they quote for the components. But I've chosen to show you a couple of key numbers. One is that in the stack, which is the most innovative uh, part of the fuel cell, there are about 100 euro, euro material cost. So with 100 euro per kilowatt, we buy the material for to produce one stack, one kilowatt. Of course, if I order the material to make 20,000 units. But this I can do today. These are not extrapolations. These are quoted I have today. Now about, uh, these are the material price. What about other key stack components? This is, these are the prices I have today. If I order for uh, 100 unit, I have a certain price. If I order for uh, one megawatt, I have that price, 10 megawatt, that price. I just have to place that order. It's not that I have to develop anything, not that the supplier has to set up a production plant. Third example, going in the BOP components, is the same story. Uh, these are real numbers, are not uh, something, some extrapolation that I do. Uh, if I order 100 units, that particular component costs me 80 per kilowatt. Uh, 50,000 units, it costs 20. You see two things. One is that the numbers are low in absolute value. Uh, in the slide before, you have seen prices in the order of magnitude of thousands. Here you see components that cost hundreds. Uh, I can show you many more details if you come and see what we are doing. Uh, but you can see that this is actually feasible. Now to conclude and leave room for, um, for discussion. At the, at the maturity level that technology is today and the products are today, the visibility of the market, which means having this enough confidence that the volumes, that the order will come, is the key for major short-term, not short-term, short-term supply, co uh, uh, supply chain cost reduction. The time to ramp up a production is like in any industry, uh, it's about 18 to 24 months. And uh, we have signed agreements that show us this confidence that we have these numbers and we have this volume and we can start to do that. SSC Power is a privately owned company, has been funded by uh, an industrial, an, is a private owned, is an um, owner of an industrial group in north of Italy, is in several industrial businesses. He has uh, invested about 30 million until now in, the, uh, in this company. And we are looking for an investment round at about, uh, say, 20, 25, 30 million to get to, to, do the, to fund our program. And of course, we are. Uh, looking for also industrial partnerships, but I think the uh, financing part is the one more relevant to this audience. Thank you very much.